hello welcome to this Ryan tutorial video in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add axis into your structural drawing so quickly in our previous video we did general settings so if you've not watched our previous video please do well to watch our previous video now this is a structure I have imported now just a digression we did settings on how to save our video on every 60 seconds so this pops up to save our video so i'm going to hit save so i don't have to go to save i just have to wait for it to pop up every 60 seconds and i have to hit on save now you can also go back to it if it's becoming a disturbance you can go back and also try and change it so this is the icon of my axis so i'm going to click on it to display this little box here so i have axis properties now inside now i have a label of a on this uh, particular box here it has two arrow i can change it if i want to i can also decide to whatsoever you can see how it's changing so I can turn it off if I want to now in structures we have two axes now this is my y axis and this is my x axis now my y axis is how my y axis have digits on on it so and this my x axis as alphabet like a b c and this my y axis as the one two three now these axis that we are going to add is going to form our grid lines so that is just the major aim of adding grid lines and you know panels has to rest from one grid line to the other grid line which is center to center so this axis has to be uh, the very important and functional for us to place our uh, panels so I'm going to be showing that how to do it in our subsequent in our next video so i'm going to go to axis i'm going to click on axis display properties axis length no view codes is okay so all of that so i'm going to add my axis now so please watch my cursor has turned to become a plus from a square box then something is bombing up so you can see my aperture is very big my snap is very big because we did a setting last time so i'm going to go to the end of it this line and i'm going to left click hold my mouse key down and i'm going to pull away to the other end now when it snaps i'm going to release so i'm going to zoom in to show you now you can see on this particular circle it is written one which is the this is now my grid line now for this my structure now this circle is referred to as the balloon this circle is referred to as a balloon so if i if i begin to play with this this i'm going to turn it off but i don't want to turn it off so because i just want to add axis so you're going to do the same for others please be very careful i'm going to do the same for others i'm going to release ensure that it is very straight and it's on this particular line so i'm going to release and i'm going to do for all now I'm going to do for all you can also press hold down your shift key down and it will become an auto for you and it's going to be give you a very straight line so you don't have to uh, move your mouse key and try to be very careful you just pull away and it gives you your a very straight line and snaps directly on the particular line that you have prepared from your structure so this is it i'm going to repeat the same for all so i'm doing this for all since the structure is not that big so i'm going to do this for all. now this structure is just a story building design so this is it now on this y axis now i have changed now you can see automatically is changed from the particular digits now to alphabet so you can see i'm making the next one so this one should give me a c 
so you can see it gives me a C and when I zoom in it's a C that's written there so this one should give me a D so this is my axis D and this is my axis E it's coming up so this is my axis E and this is my axis my axis F that's pretty simple just hold down drag your mouse key to the next end and it forms and this is the last axis that we are going to be, be adding so this is it and it's done so um, this box here right here I can decide to just click on this X box and it goes off so you can see so now I have to go and click on save because I have turned off my automatic save so now I can recall that if I have anything to edit now these are the axes here so if I select any of them you can see I selected one let's zoom in to confirm so I zoom in you can see it's one so if I select 10 you can see it goes over to 10 so if I select all uh, if I select all if I select more than one holding my control key down you can see two is selected so that is how it works now I can also click on anyone I want ready and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to uh, properties you can see that dialog box comes up back so you can do whatever you want then you just click on update so it goes up so I can also right click again said I want to extend or stretch let me stretch this um, particular um, axis let me just stretch it you can just enter the value you want to extend it now this is 2000 I can say okay I want to extend it to 2500 to 500 so I will now say okay if you want to apply to selected or all you can say okay just say okay you can see axis is going to be stretched by 2500 you can see it has moved back a little bit it has moved back to it has moved a little bit and stretch above the orders so um, let me make it obvious so that you can see it so I'm going to stretch to member axis so I'm going to stretch it so it's 2000 so I'm going to make this 3000 so I'm going to make it 3000 so apply let me just apply to only that uh, consider this very well for a shrink only uh, let me say it's only so you can see it has moved a little bit again so those are how to play you can also just go ahead you can see this is not the same as the other axis now it has moved so you can also just make uh, some little changes you can just right click go to rotate axis extend axis now let me extend this axis so I want to extend this axis let me just extend this axis see I'm going to right click on that particular red grip that is hot so I'm going to pull away you can see it's extended so that's how to extend the axis if you want to let me just extend this again for you to see it so I'm going to right click on it now I'm going to highlight it very well please note the procedure I'm going to left click on it to highlight then right click to make my command so I'm going to extend now I'm going to come to this grid that is here I'm going to left click and hold my mouse key down and I'm going to pull away from it you can see I'm going to pull away from it pull away then I'm going to release my mouse now it becomes long so that's it guys for everything